this is the default gateway for this router so once you go into the settings you're gonna enable the traffic to pass through so it's gonna send all the internet traffic to this one <laughs> Welcome back to my channel guys this is your boy Ali so today we're gonna to be talking about one of the highly request videos that I've been wanting to make for a very long time and I feel like today might be the right time to do it so we're gonna be talking about the Netgear AC3000 router that I use at home and I feel like a lot of people have been asking me uh, what kind of router I've been using and how I make it work as an internal network system um, so I use two routers uh, one as a front-end router that pretty much passes through all the traffic to my back-end router which is this one and I have all the network segregated within this network so I wanted to show you guys that and uh, the name of this router is Netgear AC3000 full mesh router so you have a main router which is this one and then you have a satellite so what happens is you connect your main ISP router to this one you pretty much daisy chain it and then once it passes through all the traffic you turn this one on as a satellite node and this will be an extension to this broadcasting the network throughout the house now you have to make sure these are able to sync properly together so they have these certain lights that you just have to make sure they're both showing uh, green so that means they're both in sync with each other because if they're too far apart they might not be communicating with each other so that's the main thing with the mesh system you just you could put it on different floors of the house and depending on how big your house is you could pretty much distribute your network and kind of let it broadcast from there so this is uh, the satellite node I'll take that back this is the router um, so you have to make sure that this is plugged in first uh, you plug this into the to the to the yellow port in the back let me show you how this looks in the back so you have the internet port then you have these other three ethernet ports that you could plug in your um, or hardwire your other rooms with or you could hard hardwire everything that's uh, you know that you want to connect directly to if you don't want to use the Wi-Fi um, you have a USB port here and then you have the power and then the reset button and then you have the on and off button right here which you could press on to turn on the router now this is the sync button which I just didn't show you but this is the sync button so once once everything's up and running both of these nodes or i call them nodes which are also called routers but once both of these are up and running you have to make sure that you press the sync button so they could talk to each other and if they're far away they're going to show you an amber light amber pretty much means that they're too far apart you have to maybe put them a little bit closer or maybe um you know remove that obstruction that's in the way it's going to block the transmission through the walls so so you have to make sure these are in sync. Once these are in sync, these could be on different floors, etc. And uh, you know, pretty straightforward. And you know, um, I got a pretty fast um, network at home. Um, so my ISP gives me about one gig from from the provider. So I get about 985 on LAN, uh, which is uh, directly connected to the router. And if I do wireless or Wi-Fi connection, that gives me about um, 450 or 500 meg download. So I think that's pretty decent for the type of work I do. And uh, you know, the download speeds are pretty crucial, especially because if you're trying to like stream stuff and all this kind of stuff, it's a lot less buffering and a lot of a lot less time wasted uh, waiting for things to download. So I'm sure you guys already know the. The benefits of that right so i just realized i have the same color shirt as the orbi netgear box wow that's pretty cool now for the people that are interested in finding out what's inside the box i brought the box out i mean i bought the router quite some time ago uh, but let me show you the satellite before we do that uh, the satellite pretty much same configuration 
Now, if you want to hardwire anything, uh, let's say you want to hardwire your box to a satellite, you could do that. It give you about four Ethernet ports, right? And then you have the sync button, you have the USB, you have the power button, you have the power uh, power plug, and then you have the reset button. And the lights will flash on top to tell you what kind of uh, uh, signal or what kind of uh, transmission um, speed and everything. It's gonna tell you the connection uh, status. So now as for the box, right? So this is the Orbi box comes in this so we have pretty much it's pretty much nothing in here right now because I think I probably took everything out so but the main thing that matters is that you have the you have the power for this you might have to buy the Ethernet on your own so you could connect it to the main router. What, what I'll do is I'll kind of draw it out so you guys could understand what I'm um, trying to do here. So this is your um, your ISP router, right? So you got, let's say, AT&T, for example, uh, or whoever your provider is. And you got a line coming in, let's say one gig into the router. Now this is, this might be your, this might be your new residential gateway provided by AT&T and uh, this is just your I'm just drawing this because uh, a lot of Cisco diagrams they use this as a router but yeah so so once you connect your main router uh, which is also going to function as a modem um, you could use this and pretty much connect it to your Orbi which are the routers that I just showed you so what you're going to do is pretty much plug the main ISP router into the, the which is going to be pretty much you're connecting it directly into this internet port the yellow one so once you connect this router into this one which is this port this port right here you're gonna put the settings on this router as pass through and you could do that with uh, 192.168.1.254. This is the default gateway for this router. So once you go into the settings, you're going to enable the traffic to pass through. So it's going to send all the internet traffic to this one. And you could use this one as your internal gateway or a router. Um, so then you have a separate website for this which is going to be orbi login net so once this is up and running and connected you're going to log into that and you're going to pretty much use this and you're going to point you're going to accept traffic from this router which is going to have its own host name so you're going to make sure that it's able to do that so once you accept the router uh, the once you accept the traffic from this router into this router going into that you're going to be able to pretty much get all your internet on this gateway from the ISP now you have your satellite let's say sitting on a this is a house two floors so this one is let's say sitting on the first floor and you got your satellite which is the second router that I showed you the satellite node the satellite node and you got the satellite node sitting here so now these are going to be talking to each other wirelessly right now you just have to make sure these are both in sync with each other which I was kind of showing you earlier and the lights are showing what it's supposed to that way you know that 
this satellite node is receiving traffic from this one to be able to broadcast broadcast throughout the house right now this is already broadcasting so you just have to make sure they're kind of in the middle of wherever they're going to be and they're broadcasting all over so let's say if you're if, you, if you're covering this portion of the house with this router and you want to cover this portion of the house with this one um, it's however you set it up right that's up to you but these uh these routers are pretty good in range they cover up to about 30 3800 square feet so i mean my house is obviously not that not that big maybe maybe a little bit smaller but but they do a great job i get uh pretty much my internet coverage in my backyard so and my front yard and my garage so that's pretty awesome i think these are great routers right so i'm gonna write this down for you orby netgear AC 3000 and you're gonna get the RBK and RBS as for satellite and RBK for router pretty much the main uh, the main router so you're gonna get two of these um, I think they cost around depends uh, I picked it up for like a really good deal um, but yeah you could you could definitely find a good deal on them but um i think i picked i paid like 270 or 250 for them and it's been a while so i mean you just really have to um keep looking for deals and and uh, you know just whenever you find a deal just pick them up but yeah so so this is a little diagram that i drew for you guys hopefully this helps you connect your orbi netgear to your isp router and um you know if you have any questions drop in the comments below and if you want me to read some specs on this uh, on these routers i could do that real quick so that way i'm not missing out on anything okay never mind so i take that back so this is covering up to 5,000 square feet uh, in range uh, it's a Wi-Fi mesh system number of Wi-Fi satellites you get one but you could add another one to it so I only have one because I don't need a second one but if I ever did if I had a massive house like 5,000 square feet then I could probably use two satellites with one uh, main router Wi-Fi speeds you get 3,000 megabits per second that's the max capacity you got three LAN ports um, it's made by Netgear. It's a tri-band technology. Um, frequencies, obviously, most of the new routers now give you 2.4 gigahertz or they give you uh, five gigahertz. So it has both. And um, it's obviously not a Wi-Fi 6 router, which is pretty much um, an overkill at this point because you don't have any um, internet that's providing any Wi-Fi 6 so it's uh, way too early but I mean if you want to still go ahead and and splurge uh, go ahead and get yourself a Wi-Fi 6 router no problem but a lot of uh, devices that those um, a lot of devices uh, for example your cell phone uh, that it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi node the Wi-Fi node might have uh, Wi-Fi 6 but if the phone doesn't it's pretty much pointless right so save yourself some money and get yourself the ac3000 netgear um so i think these are it for the main features um pretty much rj45 port types which is pretty much ethernet that you just plug into uh it has no bluetooth or anything like that you probably don't need that um but yeah um i love it you know i don't think i want to replace it for anything else i was looking at asus rog and stuff like that before and i feel like they look cool and uh you know they have they probably have but they don't have they don't have the mesh system right well these they do have the mesh system and they're not just antennas either they're proper nodes that you distribute throughout your house and it broadcasts all the signals throughout perfectly fine so but yeah i think that's it guys um quick video i guess uh, not too long um, but if you have any questions, please drop in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button now. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.